Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to this Spotfire tutorial brought to you by Datafuel. My name is Kyle Lamata, and today I'm going to show you how to color the lines in a line chart by using a property control so that you can assign a particular color to a column name. If you'd like to download the Spotfire template shown in this video, visit the link in the notes below. So oftentimes, industries or companies will have a specific color scheme that they want to follow. For example, the oil industry almost ubiquitously uses the following colors for, for different production values. Oil is green, natural grass is represented with red, and water is typically shown as blue. And we know in Spotfire that it's really easy to set the colors for a line chart when the series aren't changing. Like in this example, the y-axis values are not going to change. We have them set to oil, gas, and water, so I can just select different colors for each series in our legend. But suppose that a chart is dynamically controlled through a property control, like this chart. In this example, the y-axis can change based on the user selection from the list box. However, the line color does not also change. One way we could color the lines is by setting the color by axis selector to column names, and then we can select a different color for the different series, just like on the previous chart. The problem though is that when the expression changes, like when I change the aggregation method, the color will also change. Now you could go through and set each combination of columns and aggregation method, but that would be really annoying, especially if you had several combinations of columns and aggregation methods. For example, let's say you had five columns in your property control and 10 different aggregation methods. You'd have to change the color 50 times to cover all of the possible combinations. However, there is a faster alternative. We can use the same property control that's on our y-axis and the color by selector as well. Normally when you assign a property control to an axis selector, you just right click on that and then set from property. But the problem in this case is that it's going to treat that column as a continuous variable and make a gradient for each value in that column. If we manually change this from a continuous variable to categorical, it's still going to try to use the unique values in the column to color by instead of showing one color for oil, water, and gas. Now this is obviously not what we want. So instead I'm going to open up the custom expression window for this color by axis, right click on the document property, and select insert as value. The value of the property control is going to be the same value in our list box, which was set from column names. Now I can change the y-axis column in our property control and then assign a color to each of these three different series. and the colors will stay the same regardless of the aggregation method or the expression on my y-axis. I hope this was a useful example of how to dynamically change the color of a line using a property control. Don't forget to download the Spotfire template through the link below in the video description. Thanks for watching and have a great day.